Never trust an elf. Adjust this a little bit. All right, I think we're ready to go. Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Lord of the Rings challenge. Hey, guys, what's, what's up? So today has actually been a pretty good day so far. As you can see, I got my my beard all beaded up for the sake of the, you know, the sake of the challenge. Got to look all, you know, dwarfy, you know, looking pretty good. You know, it's actually a funny thing. Just before I started recording this episode, I went to Harris Teeter to get something to eat for dinner. And... Excuse me! Blizzard! Oh. Oh. Blizzard, not only are you breaking my immersion, but you are also ruining my fucking story. Alright? Stop. Stop it. Anyway, so I go to Harris Teeter, you know, get me some dinner before I record the challenge video. And I'm walking down one of the aisles, and this lady friend sees me. And, she, you know, she sees my beard, and she sees how it's all beaded up and everything. And she looks at me, and she says, Wow! She's like, wow, I really like your beard. Like, you look like a dwarf. It looks really good. And you know what I said to her? You know what I said to her, guys? I looked at her right dead in the eyes, and I said, Never trust an elf. And then the next thing I knew, we were banging. <laughs> What is that? Ew. It's like a mechanical rabbit. Ew! I just realized! Ooh. Fucking gnome. I'll tell you guys one thing. Earlier today, I went to a park near here. And this park uh, has a really, really large lake. You know, kind of in the heart of it. And what I did with my day for five hours is, number one, I went mountain biking for two hours on the trails there, but not only that, I also, after I was done, I went for a hike, it was about six miles, and I walked to the other side of the lake, and I sat there, and I took some pictures, and I smoked my cigar, and that was really nice, and I sang a lot of songs, and it's a pretty good day, pretty good day, just kind of went out in the wilderland, I was out there by myself, and you know, just having a smoke and singing a song. It's good stuff, man. <clears throat> drop it! Damn it! <laughs> Dude! Drop your ass, bear! Like, give me a break. Come on! Give me it! Oh my goodness! I ain't going no further till I have a breather. The road goes ever on and on Down from the door where it began now far ahead the road is gone And I must follow if I can Everyone's been asking for that song, so... You know, there you go. Too bad no one has asked for the best song ever in Lord of the Rings yet. You know which one I'm talking about. You know which one. You know which one? I'll give you a hint. Hey ho, merry door. Ring a dong a dillo. If you don't know that song, fuck you. You're not a real fan. I will not let him escape his cave. You shall not pass. I also just noticed that I have blood sausage in my inventory. Why can't we have some meat? It does kind of remind me of a certain, certain beautiful face from the movies. You know which one I'm talking about? <laughs> that guy. This is no cave in the woods. It is a tomb. At least it will be. In like one second. See? Told you it'd be a tomb. You didn't believe me. The leaves were long, the grass was green, the hemlock humbles tall and fair, and in the glade a light was seen. Of stars and shadows shimmering. Wait a second, where's Shelob? Oh wait, there she is. There she is. She's kind of, she's just hiding, hiding behind the flowers. Silly spider. <laughs> now something you guys should know when you're fighting tunnel rat foragers is that their armor is weak at the neck and under the arm. Huh! Oh, goddammit, Gandalf! 
I can't. Gandalf is so weak, you can't even kill a squirrel. Dude, I just realized that I'm about to go through the mines. Like, legit mines. Cue the music. The wealth of the tunnel rat geomancers was not in gold or jewels, but in. uh. but in miners' league crates. The stone splinter workers delved too greedily and too deep. You know what they awoke in the darkness of the Silver Stream Mine. Look at this guy. Ew! It was a broken texture. You <laughs> see that little square? <laughs> Did you see it? Blizzard, you need to fix your game. Your game is completely broken. It's like unplayable. Everything is broken. Give me that shit. Give me his head. I sure do like quests where I get to get me some head. <laughs> Roads go ever, ever on over rock and under tree by caves where never sun has shone by streams that never find the sea. Sing with me, Mountaineer Flint! Over snow and by winter sown and through the merry flowers of June Look at last two meadows green and tr Ew! Is that fucking gnome again? And trees and hills they long have known. Why were the orcs in the Lord of the Rings movies so awesome, but they were so stupid in the Hobbit movies? Like seriously. Like in the Lord of the Rings movies, like the orcs were so cool. I mean I'm not talking about the fact that the orcs were actual actors and not CGI bullshit, you know, like they were in The Hobbit. I'm talking about the fact that they, like, made the orcs in the Lord of the Rings movies, like, so likable and, like, so cool, you know? Yeah! Oh, can't we have some meat? What about them? They're fresh. You know, they were, they were likable, they were cool, but... You know, they were just like big brutes. Big, strong brutes that, like, you know, followed evil people. But like in the Hobbit movies, they were just, you know, they were just, you know, the generic bad guys. You know, bad guys. I didn't like the orcs in the Hobbit movies. I thought they were kind of dumb. I didn't like Azog either. He was just, you know, just a big bad guy. You know? Lurts would kick fucking Azog's ass. Just saying. Just saying. Fucking, dude, Lurts all the way. <gasps> a rare! Gosh, Haldir. So it begins. A great battle of our time. He ain't so tough. Uh. What if he had actually dropped a ring? Like, that would have been awesome. To, like, find the one ring, like, in the belly of a crocodile. Of course! It was here all along. <laughs> of course. Drop your goddamn jaws. What is this, vanilla? Drop it. Oh my goodness! Drop your jaws! Oh my goodness! Drop your jaws! <clears throat> oh my goodness! I feel when you're just killing fucking crocodiles all day. I don't remember. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't. I don't remember in the movies or the books when fucking Gandalf, dude, dude. You know what happened in the Hobbit book when Gandalf just left? Remember remember in the Hobbit book when Gandalf just leaves? He just leaves for a little bit and then he just comes back later on in the book and is like, Hey guys, what's up? You know what fucking Gandalf was doing? You know what he was doing in the Hobbit book? This. He was fucking trying to kill Loch Crocolisks and trying to collect their goddamn intact Crocolis jaws. But they wouldn't freaking drop! And then Gandalf got really angry, and then eventually he said, you know what, fuck this. And he rode all the way to Erebor to, like, you know, help out in the Battle of the Five Armies. Yeah, that's what happened. Mm. There, I'm done. Oh, yay. Let's go back to the Merry Old Inn, shall we? And I've been down. Ew! A gnome. Or for any length of time. Ew! A panda! Yay, I leveled again. Dude, blizzard! Oh, dude, yeah. Holla! Look at it. Look at it! Look at it! Yeah. I like it. Daylight's burning. But the only brew for the brave and true... ...comes from the green dragon. Alright, my friends. 
I'm currently level 18. It's been three levels. I have literally killed one of everything in Lock Madan in this episode. I hate it. I hate everything. How you doing, Shelob? You doing alright? No, not you, you idiot. She's doing alright. Alright, my friends. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. And, um... May your beard braids never fall out and uh, never trust an elf. Alright, I guess I'll see ya.